Alright, so today we are working on the Cooper S. We're doing a battery relocation and straight exhaust. So, let's see here. The saw has to come out. I guess I'll start on this. Okay, that's nice, no cover on the fuse, main fuse for the car. This is our current exhaust being held in with very sketchy metal zip ties. Alright, so right now I'm starting to cut out the battery box. And cut it right here so the battery still has a little bit of room to sit in. It's going to stick up a little bit, might have to work with this a bit, but that's what we're working on. Clouds, bro. If you use this portion in the video, it's gonna get copyrighted. Yeah, I heard that. Um, oh well. Oh, it's only if it's like the main thing, I guess. I don't know. I've never had too many issues with copyright, except for the one go-kart vid, or the Miata vid, I mean. Ugh. Back in 2006, nobody gave a shit about copyright on YouTube. Yeah. Everybody's like, yeah, you can't use your own stuff. It's not a nice pain. Smell is terrible. Yeah, I kind of have to. There's nothing left to my cutting disc anymore. Too much shit in this garage. <sighs> Wow. So we managed to cut the battery box and now we're in the process of welding it back in. fire extinguisher just in case.
Okay. So, after a little bit of work, got this all welded in now. And it's kind of poorly welded in, but we don't have any shielding gas. You really shouldn't be welding without it, but we don't have an option. And we could flux, but eh. Nice thing is though we can still use the battery vent and the tie down. Well, this tie down most likely. But we're getting there. We did have a couple fires under here though. And yeah, it's kinda all charred under there. So yeah. It's real great. Now it's coming along. Don't have the right muffler right now though, so yeah. I'm just gonna have to reuse this old cherry bomb over here and wish for the best. It's gonna be drone for days, and it's this car is so ridiculously loud when it's straight piped. It's like unfathomably loud for a four banger. So yeah, we're gonna see what that's like. Gonna hate life for a couple days, but I'm gonna deal with it. Putting on the final touches, just clamping it up. We just tested it before we clamped it, and yes, it is loud enough to wake the fucking dead. Good thing it's only temporary, I guess, but a very haggard ass fucking hanger. Because, you know, Richard thought it would be a good idea to make a hanger out of one piece of uh, iron instead of doing it the proper way and using two in a V pattern. But. Stay tuned for more updates on this straight back mini exhaust.